Hello Quillas, this is Polly P and this is my March 2022 bullet journal setup and it was inspired by International Mermaid Day. Funny enough, uh, this holiday was actually started as almost like a promo to encourage this show that came out in 2017 called Sirens and the thing about Sirens and mermaids, the, the terms are kind of used interchangeably, but they're both really different. Mermaids are actually women and have fish, and sirens are the same thing, but they're like the evil version of that. They come across very grim and ugly, scary, and very loud. So I decided to do the mermaids, the softer, sweeter side to this mystical creature. So for these drawings I did, I decided to use watercolor paints, a little bit of gold acrylic paints and gel pens to bring these um, pieces to life. And uh, for the mermaid what I, I like is being able to blend the colors in together. Now as you know these papers are not watercolor paper at all and so I had to find ways to be able to use it creatively to get the effects that I wanted as best as I could um, I just had to let some layers dry and then some again if I really wanted to get those blending in with the colors I really had to be careful with how I used them and because I couldn't use it in techniques that you would generally use in watercolor paper but to me I found that it came out pretty good Now doing up the calendar, I left it really simple, it took up most of the page anyway, so I just drew a little fish at the bottom and I painted in the letters with acrylic paints. So for my habit tracker, I was really happy with how this came out guys, because um, I just drew this nice little mermaid that was like swimming up to the surface, she probably wanted to feel the sun and she's skin or just explore something, I don't know, but I just love how it turned out. I actually really enjoyed how I was able to blend colors still on this particular type of paper and um, to just create this kind of underwater world around the habit tracker the best way that I could and I just found that it came out real real nice so I was kind of surprised at how good it came out so I am happy with it so that is the most important thing. So for my new tracker I decided to paint a uh, mermaid and um just have it color coded this month where the shell actually is where the actual moon track is that she's holding her hands as the days go by you color coded depending on the mood that you're feeling and on the right hand side you write down the mood that you're feeling at that time um this particular mermaid i wasn't too too happy with how it came out but i tried my best to make it look as decent as possible so um you know it's not that bad but I just, I just stuck with it because I mean, I done start already, might as well complete it. And finally, I have my sleep tracker. Sleep tracker is very important to me and I just stuck with the theme and put some cute little simple fish and just use my same watercolors to just bring this space to life. So Quillers, I hope you guys enjoyed this bullet journal setup of mine and you can feel free to recreate it or do your own thing and um, like I always say, it doesn't have to be this elaborate, just that bullet journal and it can be so effective in monitoring anything that you want in your life. It's very soothing and so calming. <laughs>